In this video, we're going to explore one of the newer Pro Tools plugins, Mod Delay 3, which is, as you would expect, a delay plugin. Let's create an aux track with our delay plugin. I'll shift command N, stereo aux track. We'll call it delay. And from the inserts, I'll choose Mod Delay 3. And here it is. Now, before I route anything to it, let's just listen to this little bit of audio I've recorded. So a very simple series of quarter notes that I've recorded. Now, I've got my return with the delay, but I haven't routed anything to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I'll choose from the send list. And I see the buses here are not anything that I want to use. I may be using these in other parts of my song, and I don't want to assign it to something called organ bus. I want a delay bus, and there's no blank buses down at the bottom, nothing I can use. So one thing I can do is assign it using this track option, track delay. And Pro Tools will create a new bus with delay, and you can see the delay track now has its input from the delay bus. If we go up to our input output and go to the bus page, you'll see that Pro Tools created, right up here, a delay bus for me. So once again, no need to go to the I.O. setup. I just chose track, and it assigned it right from this menu. Now it's a bus that I can assign any other track to. All right, so let's assign a little bit of this track to the delay. I'm going to turn off my inserts here or hide them. And we'll make sure that our delay, since it's on ascend, is set to 100% wet. Here's my dry wet control. I can, of course, just click dry or click wet, but it is set to 100%. All right, let me turn this up to 0 dB, and we'll now see what it sounds like. That's the original signal, and that's with the delay. So let's take a closer look at our delay settings. We have in our delay settings an input area, which shows me the strength of the input signal, and an output area, and I can lower or raise the output area. In this case, it's a stereo track, so I have a left and a right audio output. I have two controls for delay, a left delay and a right delay. And as long as this is set to link, what I do with one affects the other. You can see that. If link is off, I can set them differently. And let me show you what kind of effect that gets. So you can see I can control the left and the right completely separately. This sync button here will lock the delay to my tempo. You can see the tempo I'm running at is 120 BPM. The meter is 4-4. And I can click on one of these units down here to determine the timing of the delay. That's half notes, whole notes. Eighth notes, sixth, how about an eighth note triplet? Make this one a half note. Now, if sync is off, I can set my own tempo, either raise or lower the knob here, drag this, double click to type it in, and I can even change the meter. Or I can just change my system tempo and things will lock directly to it. So if I'm in sync and I change my tempo from 120 to 180, and again with sync off, I have complete control over this. 
I have a feedback control which determines how much of the delayed signal comes back into the delay and a low pass filter that I can set to trim off some of the highs and let the lows go through. And then for each side of the delay, I have a rate and a depth, which determines modulation, how the signal is modulated. So that's the rate of the modulation, and that's how wide the modulation is, the depth. And then finally, there's a groove control, which is really cool. The groove control adds a little bit of variability to my delay. So instead of being on quarter notes, for example, it will slightly offset that. Let me see if I can show you that. So you can make the groove slightly before the beat, slightly after the beat, and it gives you a little variability to your delay. So that's a quick introduction to one of Pro Tools' newest plugins, Mod Delay 3.